Good evening. I'd like to call to order the December 17th license board hearing. Susan, if you could please call the roll. Chief Cadigan. Here. Director Duca. Present. Commissioner Jones. Here. Chief Keenan. Here. Chair Crispo. Present. And now I will read into um, the record the open meeting law. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made whether perceived or unperceived by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Go ahead and get right to the first item on the agenda here in regard the request of the House Neck Congregational Church for a special use permit beer and wine license for their annual chili cook-off on January 25th, 2020. The event is scheduled from 1 to 4 and Ralph Jacobs is here. Hi Ralph. Good afternoon. How are you? Good before. How are you? Very good, thank you. If you could please come <coughs> up and again tell us about your chili cook-off. I think this is the 10th or 11th annual cook uh, chili cook-off. Uh, we hold it in the church hall. Uh, we have uh, somewhere around 20 contestants who bring chili and they're sampled by the uh, people who attend. It's five dollars a person to attend. Um, the Boy Scouts also will sell sodas and uh, water and hot dogs. And uh, we have a um, we have a bake sale as well, and people just come from all over the community, House Neck, all over uh, Quincy, and different uh, areas around. Uh, people have a nice time. It's uh, only for a few hours, but people come and stay for half an hour. How much chili can you eat, really? <laughs> but uh, I try to eat all of them myself. I pay for it that night. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's it's a it's a fun event for the community, and people enjoy it. And uh, we've done this many years before, and you've always been gracious enough to grant the permit and so we ask the same thing this year. Certainly. Um, any questions or concerns from anyone in the audience? Seeing none, board members? Ralph, I just ask that you give the health department a call because <coughs> you just need a one-day food license for Okay. That. Okay? Will do. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate Ruth. it. Any others? And to make a motion to grant the request of the House Neck Congregational Church for a special use permit, beer, and wine license for their 11th annual chili cook-off on January 25th, 2020. The event is scheduled from 1 to 4 p.m., represented by Ralph Jacobs. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set. Thank you very Good much. Luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Next is agenda item number two. Here we got the request to the Quincy Asian Resources for a special use permit for the 32nd annual Lunar New Year celebration at North Quincy High School. The event is scheduled all day on February 2nd, 2020, along with setup on February 1st. And Philip Chong is here to represent Quincy Asian Resources. Philip, how are you? Hi, Nikki. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Why don't you tell us a little bit thank about? You the 32nd annual. So it's the 32nd annual um, Quincy Lunar New Year Festival. Um, so it was before I was born. So I'm <laughs> 43 years old. So it's a great event. We have, um, uh, we're very lucky to have the school, uh, uh, the school support. We will using the North Quincy High School. Uh, we will have over 100 volunteers from uh, the Quincy Public School, from the high school students, and then also the corporate volunteers to help us to set up decoration. It's an event that we celebrate for uh, every year to as a cultural festival um, to celebrate the beginning of the year is a year of the rat. There's a 12 zodiac of the of the um, throughout the cycle for the um, for the lunar new year. Um, we will starting at 11 a.m. and the ceremony. Ceremony uh, with the line dance, uh, with the uh, elected officials speaking and sponsors at 12 p.m. Uh, following with um, 
performance with uh, children performance, cultural performance, and then we also with vendors uh, to set up tables at the gymnasium uh, throughout the day uh, with giveaways, and then uh, at the cafeteria we will have food being served. Um, we will have about three to four food vendors serving. Uh, we also will have karaoke contest. We welcome Nikki and Ruth to join us. <laughs> if Jay, you want to join us, I will sign you up yeah, too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we will have uh, also children arts and craft. Um, so it's a fun event. It's a, it's, I didn't start it. It's, uh, it's a community started it. So we hope to continue and got your support. Yep. Thank you. And any <coughs> questions or concerns from anyone in the audience about the Quincy Asian Resources Lunar New Year celebration at North Quincy High? Seeing none, board members? Just your vendors should give us a call um, at the health department because they'll all need, well, if they're not licensed in the city prior, um, mm -hmm. they'll need one day food licenses. We'll so do that. Just yep. have them call us. Okay? We'll do that. All right, thank you. Thanks, Ruth. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of the Quincy Asian Resources for a special use permit for their 32nd annual Lunar U New Year celebration at North Quincy High School. The event is scheduled for all day February 2nd, 2020, along with setup on February 1st, represented by Philip Chong. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay, good luck. Good luck. Next on the, on the agenda is item number three, continued from November 12th. Here regarding the request of the house sandwiches for a common victual license for the premise located at 716 Hancock Street. Proposed manager Chai Chung. Proposed hours of operation is 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Chai Chung, is there somebody here representing? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. Um, so this um, is a takeout sandwich shop. Thank you. This very item much. was continued due to um, confusion over the location of the kitchen and the change of use. Yes. So um, at this point, um, Ruth, do you want to? Yes, so um, they did bring in a, uh, another set of plans to us. Um, our um, health inspector, the, one of our food inspectors looked at it, I looked at it. Um, we're pretty satisfied with the plans and we better understand the setup. Um, so all they would have to do um, after uh, getting their license here is to come to the health department, give us your certifications, your serve safe, your um, allergy certifications, your how, how many seats do you have in there? Uh, it's a 12. Okay, so you I don't. serve safe allergy and your rodent control contract that you have, um, and then you'll get a food license. But we're very happy with the plans and much better understood now. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for bringing them in. Thank you. Do we have any questions or concerns from any in, anyone in the audience? Did you want to speak to... Um, your new set of plans and your um, time of operation when you're opening? Actually, I'm a interpreter for her. Okay. She's the owner. Okay. And um, do you know how they go in? It's just easy. <laughs> okay. So when do you plan on opening? Um, as soon as possible before New Year. Before the New yeah. Year? I mean, Chinese New Year, not, not the... Uh, I make a new year. I make a new year only two weeks ago. Right. And and what would the date be on the Chinese New Year? January twenty fifth. Okay. And you're gonna go seven AM to seven PM? Yeah. Right. And will you be cooking? Um, yeah, she's the cooking. And what is the concept on the cooking? Uh go um no you most times the warm up, you know, warm up cook because the only sandwich. Most most thing is uh, very easy, cold, cold something, you know. Not cooking for like a kitchen restaurant. No. Okay. Okay. 
Any questions or concerns from anyone? Yes, uh, Chief. You'll need to contact fire prevention for an inspection. Sure. Before yeah, you yes, of course, yeah. Okay. Looking for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of the house sandwiches for a common victual license for the premises located at 716 Hancock Street. Proposed manager is Chi Chung. Proposed hours of operation 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Is that seven days a week? Yes. Seven days a week. Represented by Chi Chung. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You're all set. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you. They're not going to cook, they're just going to roll up soon. They're going to have sandwiches and they're going to warm soup. Um, but our biggest right. thing is we think the kitchen is done in the summer and it's not to plan for some things. Agenda item number four. Here we got in the request of Reader's Enterprise Inc. doing business as Reader's Cafe for a common victual license for the premise located at 100 Hancock Street. Cafe is within the office building. Proposed manager is Nick Rossi. Proposed hours are 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. And Nick, thank you for coming. Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, Reader's Cafe? For sure. We are one of the largest uh, privately held catering companies in Massachusetts. We do corporate catering, social catering, private, private aviation catering, and corporate cafes. We have 23 locations, and this is going to be our first on the South Shore, so we're really excited to be down here. Uh, deli, salad bar, grill, hot entree, coffee, grab and goes. I'm writing all this down for I go to a radio show tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> But kiss one away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Maddie in the morning. <laughs> there you go. That's a good one. Um, any questions or concerns from anyone in the audience about Rita's Cafe at 100 Hancock Street? Is there a cafe in there now? There Are is. you taking over the operation of that? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Are you making any changes no. in there at all? No. Um, staff is it a totally different staff from the staff that's there. You might keep a couple, you but might, there, okay. there will be some new faces. Okay, so you'll need to come to the health department, um, give us all your certifications, get a food license. Are you going to be doing catering out of uh, that too? Yes. Okay, so you probably want a food license and a catering license when you come to the catering for the public or just catering for the building. Catering for the building, for but the catering for the public too. Okay. <laughs> Thank so it's you. mostly like private parties and office corporate things. Correct. Correct. Breakfast, lunch, mm -hmm. snacks. Very good. Looking for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of Reader's Enterprises Inc. DBA Reader's Cafe for a common victual license for the premises located at 100 Hancock Street. It's a cafe within the office building. Proposed manager Nick Rossi. Proposed hours of operation are 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Represented by Nick Rossi. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. You're all set. Good, Good luck. Agenda item number five. Here we got the request of the Korean Grill, 1429 Hancock Street, April Grindle Manager, for a change of hours to remain open until 1 a.m. Previous license board approved hours were until 11 p.m. Hello. Hi. How are you? And this is April April Grindle. Yeah, this is me. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Very good. Why don't you tell us about <laughs> your plan? Um, we would like to extend the hours until one. If we have a lot more, somewhat a little late, late customers, so mm -hmm. we'd like to keep open and make more money. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most honest response today. <laughs> <laughs> A lot more foot traffic down there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All the buildings See, it's picking up. A yeah, it seems so. to be revitalizing down yeah. there, right? Um, any questions or concerns from anyone in the audience regarding the Korean Grill of 1429 Hancock Street for um, extended hours till 1 a.m.? Seeing none, board members? Any questions, concerns? No. Mm -hmm. Seeing none? I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of the Korean Grill, 1429 Hancock Street, April Grindle Manager for a change in hours to remain open until 1 a.m. Second. Oh, sorry. Previous license board <laughs> approved hours were until 11 p.m. Second now. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck.
Agenda item number six, here and regarding the request of the Neighborhood Club 27 Glendale Road for a change of manager to John Giglio. Gilio. What is it? Gilio. Gilio. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. Thank you for coming in. Um, change of manager. Any change in the Neighborhood Club itself or are you... No, I was been the assistant manager for the past year and three months, mm -hmm. and um, our previous manager left, and I was offered the position. So now we're just changing the liquor license into my name. Excellent. And you have some experience in the business, I know. I do a little bit. I was at the Seaport Hotel for 22 years, where I also had a liquor license in my name. I was the manager of the gift shop, one of my duties, and prior to that, I was the manager of Furnacebrook Golf Club. We had the liquor license was in my name also. I didn't know that. You were up there? Mm. Oh, well. Before the seaport. Looks mm. like we have everything here in order. And do we have any questions or concerns from anyone in the <coughs> audience about the change of manager at the neighborhood club? Seeing none. Board members? Nope. Like, like to make a motion to grant the request of the neighborhood club 27 Glendale Road for a change of manager to John Giglio represented by John Giglio second all in favor aye, aye. aye. you're I all told set. be easy thank you so much <laughs> good you. seeing you John take care good luck thank you number seven here we got in the request to the 99 restaurant of Boston LLC doing business as 99 restaurant and pub for the office change, change of beneficial interest for the premise located at 59 Newport Ave. These changes have been granted preliminary, preliminarily approved by the ABCC as a change effect of all 65 Massachusetts locations. Attorney Joe Devlin. Okay. Okay, so. Um, Attorney Joe Devlin will not be here. This is an administrative only as the previously approved ABCC update instructions that we needed to have this be advertised, which we are doing now. And does anyone um, in the audience have any questions or concerns on the 99 restaurant and pub? change of officers and beneficial interest for the premise located at 59 Newport Ave. Seeing none, um, should we go ahead and vote? Yeah, um, so let's go ahead and re-vote on the 99 if you don't mind, Jay. Sure. To make a motion to grant the request of the 99 restaurants of Boston LLC DBA 99 restaurant and pub for an officer change. And do, is that the first one on the call? There's two, your change, officer change, change and, then a change and in beneficial change interest. in beneficial interest. For the premises located at 59 Newport Ave. Second, two motions. Second on the first, second on the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 See, great minds think alike. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> and you're right in the middle of us. <laughs> okay. Looking for a motion to waive the reading of and approve the minutes from the previous hearing. Motion. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. aye. Our next meeting will be January 7th, 2020 where we will um, have renewals and hearings for delinquent payments. And that will be 4 p.m. here in this room. Motion to adjourn. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.